hello guys today i'm going to be showing you my build for Koda prime this is a steel path viable build so for my statistic i have the Kevin excellent prime. elements operator please return covered in blood safe and sound okay so for my statistic i have the cast prime with a weapon with quick chance damage and faction damage for the grenier though the last one isn't going to make much of a difference and it's the usual build with blood rush pressure point gladiator might organ shatter weeping wounds carnis mandible for that extra slash and sacrificial steel for even more crits the build for my kova is actually a zero form of build so in the aura i have the juvenation then i have a rolling guard over extended for the range but i'm flow for the energy equilibrium this is how we'll maintain our energy streamline for some efficiency pilfering strangle dome for the extra loot and accumulating whip claw for more damage on our pseudo exalted this is a must on all Kora builds and we have prime continuity for the duration you don't want any strength because all the strength will be coming from accumulating whip claw for my primer i have the epitaph i have viral radiation on here the radiation helps in some sort of crowd control by removing enemy aggro from Kora. this helps in survivability as we do not have body for the spite Oh, just a minute. Yeah, so a companion like the Panzer Valpophila is a must because of these mods, the synth mods. Now, synth mods allow you to pick up health orbs even though you're at max health. The rest and then the Panzer Devolution and the Viral Quilts are a must on this pet. If possible, try to get Marty Symbiosis, but I am not at that rank with the entrati so i do not have that i have fetch here to so that the companion brings me the loot that drops now this is a zero helmet cora so you have venari on venari as well try to equip the synth mods as it helps a lot she also has fetch so if suppose the panzer will profile us down she can help you with the energy distribution Okay, it's recording just a minute. Alright, let's test this build in steel path. So I'm gonna be doing Annie in the void as I do not have a mod unlocked as of yet. Okay, this is the perfect tile set. Your weapons make music, and the enemy calls for a song. So you want to have like energy pads on hand so that if you happen to run out of energy, you can use them. All right, I'm gonna start here. Life support has been cut off. They're First trying to build choke up you out. Combo Hold on. on the melee. You I'm sending the auxiliary life support. Whip Claw directly is a huge boost. Ah oh shit, my game is lagging. Okay, I have a combo here. Let's go camp somewhere. And there we go. Switch to my epitaph. But I'm everyone and boom. You can see we are absolutely demolishing the steel path. The more you kill with the whip claw, the more damage it builds up, up to 350%. A one shot in them. Oh damn, I saw one million bleed, nice. 
Life support on the way. Be sure to ensnare enemies as it doubles the whip loss damage. Try and try and try and boom. Map nuking. Damn. Okay. And send him. Try and try and try and boom. They're dead. This will absolutely destroy the acolyte. I delivered a life support capsule to the area. Activating it will right. buy you more time. I forgot to place that boat. Try and try and try and boom. As you can see, we're regenerating the energy with the health ops. Oh man. And snare them. Put off. And then watch them die. Um, why isn't it working? Okay, there we go. Put off. And then boom. We are at 270 energy with just the equilibrium mod. This is extremely helpful when you don't have arcane energize. So we just sit here and mute the map. That's all we do. A rolling guard for that survivability. Drop, 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 and drop and die. I didn't shoot anything here. Rolling guard again. Back I didn't mean to do that. And we wait. Additional life support has arrived. And snare them. Prop and boom. I have taken this build for two hours in the steel path. I ran out of life support. That's why. Only two hours. I'm sure you can do this for much longer. Even without prime, we can absolutely destroy them. As you can see, we have basically zero energy problems. This build is much better as it progresses because of the Eximus units. Eximus have a guaranteed chance to drop health and energy orbs. Rock, 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 and boom. The dead. Now, there are chances of you dying with this build if you don't have a rolling guard on. If you have a rolling guard on cooldown, actually. You cannot shield gauge with this build as consistently as you might want. Okay, almost reaching the timer. Put off, put off, put off. And nuke. The only reason I'm doing this for 5 minutes is but for waiting for the acolyte to spawn. There we go. The sun is spawning now. What the hell is that? Oh damn, it's Mania, the one that lifts you up into the air. And we just wait. See? Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Our operative is making progress. This will help our cause. Extraction is available. This if is a camper it. build, so outright like running into the enemy and trying to kill them will not work, they'll just get you killed. I don't even know where the hell I'm up. Oh shit, shit no no no. Yep, lost all my stacks. Okay, no matter. Almost there. What the There we go. 
What you have learned here will serve you well. God damn, 17 ammo cases. So that was my zero for my Koda Prime build. Now the regular Koda build requires like one or two format to like meet the same type of power, but I'm pretty sure you can do better with the regular Koda. I hope you enjoyed my video and bye.